Hello, fourth graders. Welcome to Lesson 2.2, Comparison Problems. Okay, so um, we are extending the lesson from yesterday to work with more complex word problems, and the models and equations that you used are really going to come in handy when you're solving these types of problems. Actually, I like these models a lot. They really help you think about what is going on in the problem. So let's take a look. Evan's dog weighs seven times as much as Ohana's dog. Together, the dogs weigh 72 pounds. How much does Evan's dog weigh? All right, you can list key details instead of rewriting the whole word problem. Evan's dog equals seven times as much as Ohana's dog. They both equal 72 pounds. Okay, so I'm going to underline that. Evan's dog weighs seven times as much as Oaxana's. Together, that's important, the dogs weigh 72 pounds. All right, I'm going to set up a model. We don't know what each dog weighs, but we do have a comparison statement. We know that Evan's dog is seven times as much as Ohana's. I think I'm pronouncing that right. So I'm going to put Evan... You want to label, let's see, he's seven times as much. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make seven copies of Ohana's dog. Right? Okay, and we don't know how much any of them weigh. So I'm going to put N in here for number, a number that is unknown. This is known as a variable. Variable is an unknown quantity, most times represented by a letter. Okay, so what we do know is that these two amounts combined are 72 pounds. Okay, and I changed pounds uh, to LBS, which is the standard abbreviation for pounds. Also, let's see. We're going to set up an equation to match this model. We have some number, some, so many groups of n, so many copies of n, that equals some amount. And this is information that we actually know. So, we have, let's see, if both of them together weigh 72 pounds, and I have seven copies for Evan and one copy for Ohana's dog. That is a total of eight copies of N, and eight copies of N is 72 pounds. Well, if I use my fact families, these two factors equals that product, I can divide my product by a factor and get my answer for n. And I hope you know your facts, and I hope you know that 8 times 9 is 72, therefore 72 divided by 8, n 
equals 9. Now, how is that going to help us with knowing how much Evan's dog weighs? Does Evan's dog weigh 9 pounds? Absolutely not. Evan's dog is over here, the eight copies of N. And if N is 9 and there's eight copies, oh, seven copies, my bad. There's seven copies of N for Evan's dog. That's seven times 9 which means Evan's dog is 63 pounds. And of course, if I had room on this page, I would have a response statement. Evan's dog weighs 63 pounds. So that's the question we were asked in this problem. Let's take a look at another one. Oh, Evan again. So now we know Evan's dog weighs 63 pounds. Ohana's dog weighs 9 pounds, which if we look back, yes, that's true because Ohana's dog is only one copy of N, and N is equivalent to 9 pounds. All right. How much more does Evan's dog weigh than Ohana's dog? Well, that's pretty easy. Let's set up the model again very quickly. Here's Ohana's dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is Evan's dog. And we know now that Ohana's dog is nine pounds and Evan's dog is 63, but we want to see in the model where the difference is. The difference is right in here. The copies that aren't the same. These two are the same. They're both at least 9 pounds. Evan's dog is 9 times 6 more which is 54 pounds more. So a correct response statement would be Evan's dog weighs 54 pounds more than Ohana's dog. Okay, now we have a couple of homework sets for you. The first problem here, which is labeled for you step by step, and then you also have these two problems, so a total of three practice problems. I know that you can handle it. Um, here's the first one again, and the next one. So stop this recording and rewind if you need to. All right, have fun with this. See you later.